So in this video, I will use the Mimics Innovation Suite to show you how to automatically segment an airway using the Segment Airway tool, which is part of the pulmonary module and located under the Segment menu. So before starting, you'll want to choose your leakage detection. And so leakages occur in regions where the contrast between the airway and the airway wall decreases, which then causes the segmentation uh, to leak into the pulmonary parenchyma and subsequently lung tissue uh, can get erroneously marked as airway. And so we have this slider to help control this behavior. And so basically the weaker we set this, the more branches the segmentation will find, but it will also result in more leakages that you'll have to manually delete. And if we do the opposite and set it to a stronger setting, the branch segmentation won't go as deep, but we're a lot less likely to get those leakages. So for now, I'd recommend just maybe starting somewhere in the middle and if you get a lot of leakages, you could redo it and make the detection stronger. Or if the segmentation doesn't detect as many branches as you'd like, you could redo the segmentation with a weaker leakage detection. Uh, so once you have that set, just hit start. And then you'll want to indicate the start of your trachea or where you want the segmentation to start. And then you'll indicate a second point to indicate the direction. So I'm just going to click a second point that's below that first point. And that will automatically begin the segmentation process, which it's gonna automatically do. And so while it's doing this, I'm just gonna rotate it around and try to see if any leakages do occur. And then just remember that spot. So it looks like, yeah, right there, that's probably a leakage or what a leakage would look like. So once this is done calculating, I'll just show you how to manually fix those. Yeah, so it looks like we just have this one for the left side so far. Yeah, so it looks like we just have that one leakage. So I'll show you in order to, to fix that, what you can do is you can just left click on that area and then you can right click and put a leakage marker there. And so that's gonna kind of block it off and it's gonna resegment that area. Other things you can do to edit this is uh, if you wanna delete any branches, you can just left click on them, right click and hit delete. If you want to delete maybe farther up and delete everything below that, maybe it's segmented farther than you need, you can uh, click one of the segments farther up and then right click and select delete with children. And then other options you have is uh, maybe if you want to split a segment, you can subdivide it into parts and then only delete part of that part if you need to. But once you've blocked off any of the leakages with the markers and deleted any branches that you'd like to, you can go ahead and hit Calculate 3D. And then it's going to take that segmentation and calculate a 3D object for you. So once that's done calculating, you'll see we have a 3D object of our airway, which you can treat as any other 3D object. So if you want to hollow it out or export an STL for it, you can. A lot of people also will want to now fit a center line to this airway and do some center line measurements. Uh, so I'll show you that in another video. Uh, but if you have any questions on the segmentation of the airway, feel free to leave a question. Otherwise, thanks for watching.